Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City, where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. Welcome to part 4 of building a mock from start to finish and the project is the townhouse pet shop and cafe. This is a 2019 set and what you see in front of you is a remock or remake into a half expert modular style building. Half meaning it's built on a 16 by 32 stud base plate and this is actually a corner build or corner design as you can see. So it's designed to fit at the end of the street so that minifigs can walk around the sidewalk over here and to the back over here. So as with all the remocks I do, I try to keep to the essence of the build and that is why you see the main structure basically aesthetically the same. But I have added some details just to make it a bit more textured based on the design I'm going for. This side is really set against a another building therefore it's not so important how it looks like i have kept the original builds mainly to utilize the parts even though technically if this is against a building the windows don't really make sense but uh, this can then be a corner build or it can be a standalone build as well in this video i'm going to start work on the third floor and the roof for this so this will actually be a staggered building in the sense that this particular pet cafe which is what i'm building over here will be three stories and the townhouse itself will be two stories incidentally if you missed the previous video where i've been building this particular mock from start to finish do check out the links in the description so the first thing i'm going to do is to build the floor of this uh, second third floor as well as the roof so it'll be one connected piece i will have one hole for a ladder that will allow the customers of the pet cafe to climb up to this third floor and what i intend to do is actually to have this third floor spill over to the roof of the townhouse since this isn't going to be utilized i'm not having any access for minifix to get up to the roof of the townhouse I still have one more set of this because I am using two sets for this particular build and we mirror built them. That means we built them in mirror images. Therefore, this actually would sit very well here. So let me just pop this off and you can probably get an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's remove that. That would sit just like that. In fact, I can remove this as well. And I think that looks pretty interesting. It looks a bit big, so maybe I'm gonna shift it in again uh, by two studs. I do not need to have it so wide. I can change this to a panel, uh, but I can keep maybe the roof this height. I'm not sure, uh, but this is the basic idea, at least what I think I want to go for. So it really depends. Uh, as I build, I will know, but this is the general idea. This, I think, is a bit too big. It's really too close to this part of the roof. So I'll bring it in closer. Maybe I might even end it here. So it really depends as I build, and we'll see how that goes along. Well, so let's get started with the roof or the floor piece first, building the ladder into here so that we can create access, and then we'll move to actually constructing the third floor for the pet cafe. So what I've done here is to create the roof for the uh, townhouse as well as the level for the third floor of the pet shop or pet cafe. And I've also put in the ladder with a modified plate into the top of this particular uh, floor. So that comes here and just gives minifix access to the roof. So since I've done that, I can kind of figure this out. I can transport this here, transplant this here. First thing I have to do is of course to move this back over here because this was the original townhouse uh, parts. And if I were to just put this back here, I'll have to work backwards, I think. I think I'll put this on first, then that would allow me to determine how much space I have to put this modern section of the third floor and then I'll do the mock for that, and then I'll complete the townhouse to kind of join them together if possible. So this is what I've got for the roof. I think uh, the size works, but I 
need a way to close this off and I think what I'm going to do is to first put it back on top to see how it looks like and just to see that angle how it works now it doesn't have to come all the way here because it would be strange since there is a railing here so that design doesn't really work with bricks here so I need a way to naturally stop the roof here maybe I could introduce sloped bricks so that it can slope up this way and so that at least it doesn't just stop abruptly here and there doesn't seem to be anything here so I think I'm going to take a slope brick and to put it on either side and just stop it and gradually bring it down over this way and then I could also add towels here actually I could probably add black plate under this as well to define it to raise it up so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish this and once I uh, finish this I will also have to adjust the roof so this is the roof for one part over here I'll need to do a combined roof that fits this uh, that might be quite tricky as well uh, but let's do that now I think that looks pretty good of course I have to add a towel here and I think I'll add a white towel here so one by two towel on either side just to kind of meet everything so that no studs are exposed here but I think that actually works after I do that I'm going to work on the roof here's the roof that I created it's basically kind of an extension of just one of the roofs uh, I've used the same clips uh, but I've just used one by four tiles here and this fits over here so this is 12 studs long that goes here I just really need one of these solar panels not two so I'm gonna put that inside uh, right in the middle here put this which was originally here in the original design as well and that goes down there and that looks pretty good I think as a third floor so let's put everything back together and we'll see what we should do from there this is the fully assembled building of course there's no detailing done and there's still quite a bit of detailing and refinement to do in terms of plates and towels over here just to make sure that everything is symmetrical and looks good so don't worry about that for now that will be done in the next and final part uh, right now, I'm just interested in looking at the structural design and aesthetically how it looks like. I think this really basically is the original build and I've integrated it with this uh, more modern build over here. And I think this extension works. I think it ends right with this window. So there is some visual distinction. You don't feel that this oversteps too much into this side of the house. And I think it's acceptable and I do like the expanded space uh, and you have a balcony here for people to come out and we've got access points of course uh, all the way up to the third floor so overall I think uh, this is a win still lots to do in terms of detailing uh, but I'll do that in the next part so if you've got any comments or got any feedbacks uh, please ignore some of the finer details so we're really talking about the structure you can see now everything is pretty much solid this entire roof comes off like that so that is one level and the second floor comes off like that that's another level and there we have the ground floor so it's really converted into this half modular style building which is a corner build so let me know your thoughts and leave them in the comments and of course if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and as always please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell thanks for watching check out these two videos before you go